Today I'm going to show you guys a faster way to do the mods exploit, that way you get the gear you want, with the mods you want, and the attributes you want, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna talk about a faster exploit that I came across on getting the mods that I want on the gear that I want it on. And if you guys wanna see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan-made lore, news, updates, and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos. So, yesterday, the devs came out with a huge patch for Outriders that stopped a lot of the glitches and exploits in the game, as well as make more issues. Prior to this video, I had made the same type of video and I called it a glitch. If you wanna check that video out, I will put a card at the top right of the screen right now and at the end of this video. Now, with that video, a lot of people corrected me saying that it's not a glitch, it's an exploit. And then other people say it's not an exploit or a glitch, it's safe scumming. Regardless, whatever you want to call it, this is not how the game is intended to be played. The term doesn't matter. What does matter is that you can still do it after the massive patch that the devs released yesterday. However, in my last video, this exploit <laughs> I did was like in eight steps, but I found out a way to do it in fewer steps thanks to everyone in the comment section. First off, why are we doing this? Well, that's an easy question to answer. When it comes to the end game, finding the piece of gear that you want is very difficult because we are left at the mercy of RNG. This exploit will help all of those who used emergency stance, because you knew it was bugged, get mitigation from death, which will now help you stay alive in expeditions. Let me give you a disclaimer first. This is an exploit that we are going to do. So if you are not comfortable with that, then don't do it. If you want to put a tier three mod on the gear, then you need to have it already unlocked. This exploit does not give you free tier three mods. Also, I recommend doing this on level 50 gear because it will cost too much to upgrade in materials if you get an epic at a lower level. So let's get started. Now I am doing this exploit on my PlayStation 5 with the newest update, which is update 1.04. That is not the same thing as the game version, which is 1.007. As of this video, we have eight vendors in the game of Outriders. In Rift Town, we have Gregor Ram and Ava Lopez. In Trench Town, we have Ruff Pablo, Eric Rib, and Noah Dembele. In the Forest Enclave, we have Mercer Acosta, then there is Tiago, and they are still going strong, my buddy Leon's baby mama Bailey. At level 50, all of these vendors sell gear of all types and rarities. For this video, we're actually going to focus on the blue gear. If you find an epic or legendary from one of the vendors that has the attributes and a mod that you can use, then great. But you can still do this on the green gear if you want it to. For my character's build, I need bonus firepower, long range damage, and close range damage. That is exactly on the Robe of the Shaman Warlord that you see on screen. At this point, I don't even care about the tier one mod that is on it because it will be changed later on. I will, however, in this video, be looking for mitigation from death for my tier two mod because that is actually important. I will be giving you these very specific steps do not, I repeat, do not deviate from these steps or you will mess it up and have to do it all over again with a different piece of gear. This includes not going into any other windows. I cannot stress this enough. So step one, you're gonna go ahead and buy your blue gear that you want with the attributes on it that you want as well. Step two, activate a save point by either changing locations or going into your stash and pulling something out. Step three, talk to Dr. Zahidi, go to the, I need to upgrade my gear, select the gear that you want to upgrade, then go to improve rarity. Step four, if the mod is not there that you are looking for, automatically close the application or disconnect the internet if you are on PC. Go back into the game and then repeat steps three until you get the mod that you want. Step five, if the mod is there that you want, 
go ahead and activate the save point again and you should be good. Now, if you're doing this method with an Xbox, good luck. Because I heard that you guys are still having tons of issues trying to sign in to the game and it's taken even longer to get in than it did before the patch. If you do everything correctly, you will be able to have the gear you want with the attributes you want and the tier two mod that you want, given that you already plan on changing the tier one mod to whatever mod it is that you want it. Let me know down in the comment section if this video helped you out to get the gear and mod that you want. And if it did, go ahead and please leave a like. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you need a place to play Outriders, come join the Everything Outriders Discord. Every platform is welcome. You can make new friends, get help with expeditions like Challenge Tier 14, 15, and Eye of the Storm, get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and a look at all of the legendaries in the game as well. We are over 245 members and it's growing every day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go. Go, 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 go.